Welcome back. The seven day celebration known as Kwanzaa begins today and through New Year's Day, black Americans and others are encouraged to embrace and remember African cultures in unity. Only about 2 million out of the 40 million people in the U.S. who identify as black celebrate the holiday. And although Kwanzaa is widely known, a lot of people don't know its history. Kwanzaa, an African-American and Pan-African holiday, celebrates culture and community. Created in 1966 during the Black Power Movement by Dr. Malena Karenga, Kwanzaa celebrates seven principles over seven days. Kwanzaa is a Swahili word, and Kwanzaa itself is spelled K-W-A-N-Z-A with one A. What happened with the celebration, it was K-W-A-N-Z-A-A, to make it seven letters because Kwanzaa itself is celebrated over seven days. Although gifts are given and rituals are practiced, Kwanzaa is not a religious holiday. It's a cultural one. Each of the seven days has a different focus. For example, the third day, Ujima, means collective work and responsibility. In the sixth day, called Kuumba, means creativity. On the seventh day, called Imani, there's an ending feast. Kwanzaa represents one of the first holidays for African Americans that they not only created, create but they could also celebrate openly with it. Feel free to join in the celebration, ignite the sequel candles on the Kanara, and embrace the spirit of unity. Well, there is an official book on how to celebrate Kwanzaa called Dr. Karinga's Kwanzaa, a celebration of family, community, and culture. It's written by the creator of Kwanzaa. There is also a website, officialkwanzaawebsite.org.